Hi, and welcome to this big picture tutorial, PI planning in five minutes. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use big picture and Jira to facilitate the PI planning ceremony. Wherever you are on your agile journey before, during, or after agile transformation, this video will help you to decide whether safe is the right framework for your teams or simply learn how to use the tool. Before we start, you will need your backlog teams and a definition of done. As big picture is an app for Jira, you will need Jira core. If your teams are already using Jira software and boards, this is great, but Jira core will also work. So let's get started. There are some inputs and outputs of the PA planning ceremony. One of them is the product roadmap. To learn more about how to achieve such a roadmap, watch the Gantt as a roadmapping tool video tutorial. Besides the roadmap, we need a backlog of items. The scope module in this example is renamed to program backlog. By the way, I am using Big Picture Enterprise, which includes pre-configured templates so that you can start working in no time. As you can see, I have added a safe feature issue type in my Jira and grouped them into work packages using the Epic link. The hierarchy is done automatically by the app. I also created a custom field WSJF for weighted shortest job first and based on that calculated value, product managers can select features for development. You can use a simple script to calculate the weighted shortest job first for you. Also, there is an inline editable field added during the installation of the app so that you can assign an item to a PI directly from the interface. You can use this view together with other modules to present the context and the top 10 features to be delivered. Feel free to adjust this view by adding different fields and roll up the data to track progress, for example, based on status or story points. Let's start the team breakout session. Each of my time boxes, the PIs and iterations are synced with Jira, but this is not required. You can zoom in and out to adjust the planning horizon. Your work items are now presented in the side backlog. Use drag and drop to move items around the board and assign them to the team and different time boxes. You can use multi-select to move multiple items. Place your features in the unassigned swim lane as the teams will select features they will deliver and decompose them into stories. Again, there are different ways to do that using drag and drop or by editing the team assignment field. To switch to the iteration, click the arrow on the selected PI. There are a couple of tasks for the teams at this point to plan the iterations. 1. Decompose the features into stories. As I have already used the epic link to do that, I'm using a custom link type, which I named parent to child. This means that I need to link the stories to the related feature. Alternatively, you can rename the epics to features and create an issue type epic to group the features. Next, estimate the story points and define the dependencies. There are up to five link types, which you can visualize. The links sync to Jira bidirectionally. Watch the dependency tutorial for more details. To estimate the team capacity, go to the capacity screen and set the capacity for each of the teams and iterations. The program board module, aka board, will visualize the dependencies so that you can easily spot items which are not sequenced correctly. Here you need to do two things, sequence the work by resolving the incorrect dependencies, colored red, and make sure that you do not exceed the team's capacity. Don't forget about identifying and addressing the risks. There are different ways to do that and adding the ROM field is the simplest way. If you want to do a more detailed risk assessment, use the risks module. Your teams can now commit to their plans and define the goals they want to achieve. It is time for the release train engineer to set the PI objectives based on the information provided by the teams. Open the objectives module, the default name is roadmap. Add the objectives and track them using their status and reports. You can also set the plan business value score, and once the data is available, the app can calculate the plan business value versus actual business value ratio. Great, your plans are ready. There is one more thing, the roadmap, but you don't have to worry about it as it is already created for you automatically. All you need to do is to monitor the executions, so make sure to check the progress of your teams and react when needed. The warnings will show where things are not going as expected so that you can adjust the plans and get back on the course. Thank you for watching and make sure to visit our YouTube channel for more tutorials or simply contact us at support at softwareplant.com.